Hi from Science Magic Platform. Today I came with the topic sterilization and this is the second part of the video about sterilization. What is sterilization? The process of killing or removal of microorganisms from any object it is called sterilization. So sterilization can be done by using physical methods or chemical methods. In chemical methods we are using chemicals to kill or remove microorganisms. So here the chemical methods can be done by using all these chemicals in order to kill bacteria, virus or fungus. So here I have written bactericidal. So bactericidal means it can kill bacteria. Viricidal means it can kill virus. Fungicidal means it can kill fungus. So here I have three methods. Under chemical methods for chemical sterilization. So first one is gaseous method. I have five types of chemicals for doing gaseous chemical sterilization. So how this is done? We have to supply gas through orifice to the object which has to be sterilized. So the high concentration will be passing to the object which can remove or kill the microorganisms. So under gaseous I have five. The first one is ethylene oxide. The chemical formula is EO. Second one is formaldehyde. The chemical formula is HCHO. Third one is nitrogen dioxide NO2. Fourth one is beta propiolactone C3H4O2. And the last fifth one is ozone O3. So these are the five gaseous chemical agents we, we are using in chemical sterilization. So one by one we will discuss now. The first one is ethylene oxide or EO. This is working with microorganisms or the, what is the mechanism behind this application of ethylene oxide is the alkylation of three different groups of proteins. So what are three different groups of alkylation is done? Sulfhydryl group, amino hydroxyl group and carboxyl group of proteins. So what is alkylation? The transfer of alkyl group from one molecule to another molecule. That is called alkylation. So alkylation of these three groups on proteins is done to kill the microorganism. And one more activity can be done by this ethylene oxide that is alkylation of amino group of nucleic acids like RNA and DNA. So we have two types of nucleic acids. RNA means ribonucleic acid and DNA means deoxyribonucleic acid. So that is the first mechanism by the chemical ethylene oxide. The second one is formaldehyde. HCHO. So here the mechanism behind this formaldehyde to kill the microorganism or to remove the microorganism is by the activity on amino group of proteins. So it is acting upon the amino group of proteins to kill the microorganism. So normally we are using this formaldehyde in the process of fumigation. If one room is affected with uh, many microbes or uh, people are sick because of inhalation of that air, in that case we can go for this method of fumigation by using formaldehyde. This is a type of gas. And how this formaldehyde is made? This formaldehyde is made from formalin by heating process at a temperature of 70 degrees Celsius to 80 degrees Celsius. So this formalin is being converted to the form of formaldehyde at 37 percentage weight by volume. So like this we are preparing 
formaldehyde from the chemical formalin. And third one is nitrogen dioxide, NO2. This is one of the pollutant gas. This mechanism behind this nitrogen dioxide is degradation of DNA by nitration of phosphate backbone. Degradation means it is killing. The killing mechanism is by degradation of DNA by nitration. Nitration means addition of nitro groups to the phosphate backbone. The fourth one is beta propiolactone. So this is viricidal. This is more active against virus. And the fifth one is ozone. Ozone is formed from oxygen by the addition of one oxygen. This is a potent oxidizing agent to kill prions. So oxidizing property means adding oxygen to the small infectious particle called prions. So these are the things about gaseous agents. Ethylene oxide, formaldehyde, nitrogen dioxide, beta, propiolactone and ozone. Moving to the next chemical method, liquid method. In liquid method, compared to gaseous method, we have to dip what are the objects to be sterilized. So there will be a soaking time. We have to follow the soaking time for the proper removal or killing of the microorganisms. So here we have four methods. The application of hydrogen peroxide or H2O2. The second one is glutraldehyde that is C5H8O2. Third one is hypochlorite. This is type of liquid bleach and nowadays we are hearing this word the treatment of COVID. So this is ClO- and the last one is alcohol. So we have four methods of liquid sterilization method. The first one is hydrogen peroxide. The, compared to other types of chemical agents, the penetration power is less for this hydrogen peroxide. But there are some health issues related with this chemical. The second one is uh, glutraldehyde. Here the immersion time, I told you, there will be particular immersion time for each chemical. For glutraldehyde, it is given 22 hours. So if you are not soaking or if you are not following this immersion time, the microorganism will never be killed. Third one is hypochlorite. This is a type of liquid bleach. This is a type of oxidizing agent by adding oxygen to the infectious particle which has to be killed. And the fourth one is alcohol. We have two main types of alcohol commonly employed for this chemical sterilization purpose. First one is ethyl alcohol and the second one is methyl. So this is one of the main ingredients nowadays we are getting. We are using sanitizer to disinfect. So this disinfection property is mainly because of the presence of alcohol content we can denature proteins of the microorganisms so it is mainly used as a skin antiseptics so we have seen four types of liquid chemical sterilizing agents hydrogen peroxide glutraldehyde hypochlorite and alcohol moving to the last one the other agents what are the other agents we are using Apart from this gaseous or liquid method of chemical sterilization, these are dyes, halogens and phenol. So dye, under dyes, we have two types of dyes. One is acidic dyes and second one is basic dyes. Here aniline dyes, it's a type of acidic dye which is active against gram-positive bacteria. Gram-positive bacteria means the cell wall is thick, made up of peptidoglycan. The examples for aniline dyes are brilliant green, malachite green, crystal violet, etc. So these all are coming under acidic dyes which is active against gram-positive bacteria. The second one is basic dyes. It is called acridine. 
This acridine dyes are active against gram negative bacteria. The second agent is halogens. Examples are iodine, iodine and chlorine. These are commonly used disinfectants. Then the last one is phenol. So these are the uh, three other agents we are discussing here for the chemical sterilization purpose. So if you like this video, please subscribe my channel. Bye.